That's definitely the biggest buck that we've seen all day. And that right there, I think is like a 13 point white tail buck. When I was in middle school, there's one game that had my interest every single day after school and I could not play anything else. That's the best deer hunting game that there ever was at the time. And that is Deer Hunter 4. We're going to be playing it right now. Deer Hunter 4 War Record Bucks. Now this means there's actually some giant non-typicals out here. And when you see one, it will definitely get you pretty excited. It also has a target range where you can sight in your own weapons before you head out to the field. Now, right here we're going to have the 7mm and I'm also going to be bringing the bow. So, check this out. We'll grab our 7mm right now. Got a squirrel trotting through here, but we'll grab our 7mm and watch. So, basically, we'll be able to see how we can sight it in. Okay. Yeah, that one was just a little high. It hit like a foot high and six inches to the left. So basically what we have to do now is we go right here and we click down probably like 10 clicks. All right, well, let's give her a shot this time. There oh, we yeah, go. Oh yeah, perfect shot. Right on the money. I like that. We're about 50 yards out. You know what? I want to actually go maybe one or two clicks higher. Just because if we have a far shot, I want to be able to take... Okay, we're empty. Um, I want to be able to have this thing sighted in dead on at basically 150. Okay, perfect. We're about an inch high at about 50 yards. Should put us in uh, somewhere around like 100 yards. We're dead on 150, maybe an inch or two low, which I'm right with that. Now, I want to bust out the bow. And we're going to be using the compound bow here. All right, so I just clicked it about 10 more times down and three more times left. So let's see if we can't put that in there. There we go. Dead That's center. what I'm talking about. Dead on at about 10 yards away. Let's actually take one more shot just so we can see what we're dealing with here. Yeah, right in there. Awesome. Okay, now let's go for a 20 yard shot. Bullseye. Looks like you've done this before, huh? <laughs> and now we're looking good. All right, guys, let's head after some big white tail box. Or at least try and find our first white tail box. All right, here we are at our first spot here. It's pretty thick. We got cornfields on both sides. We got a brush row right here in the middle and kind of a little opening right in front of us here. We're going to try and creep forward and see if we can't get eyes on a decent buck somewhere nearby. There he is. That's actually not a bad looking white teal. Probably going to be about like a 10 point or something like that. Eight or a 10 point buck coming in. Let's see if we can't get on him. There he is right there. Like go for down. a quartering shot and we dropped him right in his tracks. All right, let's go have a look. Our first white teal down. Let's take a look at him. It was an eight point white tail buck. Not bad. One thing about this game that I really like is the fact that there's actually cornfields surrounded by a bunch of tree lines and brush rows all around. And then there's even some grass fields out in the middle where the big bucks tend to bed during the day. Another thing that's cool about this game is you can set up a tripod pretty much anywhere on the map. And once you get in it, you can grab the antler rattlers and you can literally start rattling. And uh, you can call in some giant bucks by doing that. Not only that, take a look. You can see it right through these corn rows here. It looks really, really cool, and it's so realistic. It reminds me of bow hunting back in Wisconsin. Actually, when I was 16, I rattled in a 20 inside eight point buck, and it came in right underneath my tree stand. It was one of the coolest things ever. And not only that, he didn't just come in. He came in super stealthy. I couldn't even hear him come in. I'm sitting there rattling, you know, maybe every like five minutes or so. And probably like the third set, all of a sudden I look right underneath me and there's this eight point buck, super wide, all busted up. You can tell he's a big fighter. It was just the coolest thing. So yeah, I really would like to see some rattling in the new hunting games here soon. Okay, there's definitely a deer out there somewhere. I can't see it yet, but I can hear it. It's a buck. Another buck coming in. Not a very big one, but it is another buck. So let's see if we can't take him down as well. All right, here we go. Not a clean shot. Oh, 
A little too far forward, I guess. But we got some blood right here, so he shouldn't go too far. That's what I like about this game, too, is you can track them down. And you see how there's just, like, blood all over the place? Not really all over the place, but, you know, it's pretty consistent where you don't have to look super, super hard to see it. And I really like that, you know? It makes the game so much more realistic. But here it lays right here. Our second whitetail buck of the hunt. Now, at this point, I only want to take down another big buck, not another small buck. That was a four-point buck. Next time, we are not going to take down a four-point buck. All right, guys, I definitely hear something coming this way, and I see it coming right there. That is a doe, but that is a really decent whitetail buck. Let's actually zoom in on that thing. That's like a nine or a ten-point buck right there. Okay, let's take the shot. Looks like he's down. We dropped him. Well, we've been hunting out here on Missouri for quite some time. We took down a couple of medium-sized bucks, but we haven't seen anything very special yet. We're looking for something at least a 10-point or bigger, and uh, we just haven't found one yet. But we're going to keep on trying. Don't worry. We'll keep on trying. I know they're out here. Right there's a beautiful white tail. Holy, look at that thing. Oh, man, that's a giant buck. That is, I think, like a 10-point. Oh, yeah, that's going to be a 9 or a 10-point buck. I want to wait till he turns broadside, though, because he's going to be our biggest buck, and we do not want to mess up this shot. He's pretty broadside, but now he's walking. Make up your mind, buck. What do you want to do? Okay, you know what? Get on, get on. Oh, he was stopped. That was perfect. I'm shaking too much. I can't. There's no, like, breath. Oh, my God. We Slide smoked him. What a perfect shot. There's no, um, no, don't run into us, no, 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 no. Um, there's no breath, there's no option to hold your breath. So, you just kind of have to, I don't know, be in the right spot and take the shot when you're ready. But we got him. He stopped perfect. And I think we got a double long shot. And here he lays right here. That's going to be one, two, three, four. It's actually an eight point buck so he's not as big as i thought but you know what that's gonna be our biggest buck so far eight point white tail buck i will definitely take that and i am very excited well let's jump in this truck here and uh take it for a little ride Ooh, this sucker's loud <laughs> oh man that exhaust though <laughs> It's so loud! It's so loud! I, I don't even know how to turn this thing. <laughs> Holy, that thing's loud. Yeah, let's let's not drive the truck. It's gonna scare every deer out of- Wow, that's loud. It sounds amazing. Don't get me wrong. But it is super, super loud. Take a look at that rack. It's like he has a drop tine on his uh, right side. That's kind of cool. I didn't know if that would spook him or not. Look at all the deer trails, though. See, we followed the deer trail, and it led us right to all the deer. Nothing too impressive, but at least we got whitetail bucks around us. What do we got over there now? Okay, guys, when this buck steps a little bit closer, we're going to take a shot. He's going to be about 25 yards out here any second now. Let's get ready. He's about 25 yards right there. We're going to have to take kind of a facing shot, but... Uh, you must have got buck fever. What? How the heck did we miss? <laughs> Tell you what, I think we're going to take a shot on this buck here. He's going to be about 40 yards out. And we do have a sight for 40 yards, so let's get on him. Looks like you just oh, wounded Oh, we got him. Now that is a beautiful whitetail buck. That's definitely the biggest buck that we've seen all day. And that right there, I think is like a 13-point whitetail buck. He's about 300 yards out, so he's a pretty good ways out. But honestly, we should be able to call him in a little bit closer. I cannot believe, and you cannot believe, how long we've been hunting for a big buck. It's like, I've tried... What the heck was that? I've gone to three different maps trying to find bucks. Is there werewolves out here or what? No, it's probably a wolf. But uh, 
I'm going to three different maps and I could not find one buck past an eight point whitetail buck. And now we're out here at Saskatchewan and we found a giant whitetail coming in. Looks like he's actually gonna swim across this river here right over to us. <laughs> Look at that. But we're gonna have to make up our mind here pretty quick because he's about to come into range. We're looking at about 230 yards out right there. Now, it's not really a good idea to take a shot in the water because you can really only see kind of like half the vitals exposed at this point. So let's try and call him in a little bit closer and see if we can't get a shot. It's kind of cool because there's two bucks. There's a small buck right there and a big old buck right there. Are they gonna fight? Oh, I thought they were gonna fight. Nope, they didn't. Anyways, it looks like he's interested. I can't tell how big he is, but it's definitely a giant and our biggest buck we've seen all day. Holy, look at the points on that thing. We just smoked him. I didn't even try and shoot twice, but honestly, I am not upset that we did. Oh my god. Well, I think we definitely got the biggest one, but either way, that's a really cool looking spiker coming in, and I kind of want to take him down because it'll be our first spiker with the 7mm, like and, and we just made an awesome heart shot on him, and there he lays right there. Let's go pick him up. Actually, I can't wait to go over there and go see how big that other buck's gonna be because he should be a pretty good one. I'm gonna say he's gonna be like a 14 pointer. Let's go over here and go take a look. Here he lays right here, our biggest buck of the entire hunt. And it's been so long since I've been looking for one of these because I can't even tell you how long it's been. But here he lays right here. That's probably gonna be like a 14 point whitetail. You can only see like half his rack right there, but let's pick him up. That's going to be a 12-point whitetail buck, and we took him down at 100 yards with a 7mm. All right, guys, there he is. We took him at 129 yards, a 12-point whitetail buck with a 7mm, and he scores 145. Ended up having a 19 inside spread on him. What a giant whitetail buck. And uh, honestly, I had so much fun playing this game. It brought back so many memories. Like I said, when I was in middle school, so I was basically... 12, 13 years old, I just started hunting at that time. Well, hunting for whitetail. And uh, that's when this game was super, super popular. And I had so much fun playing it when I wasn't hunting in real life. But anyways, that's gonna be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. And also let me know if you guys ever played this game in the past as well, because I'm really curious. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time.